What is Cafe Mocha? Experts, celebrities. Hey, this is John Legend. Yours truly is your Selva. This is Fantasia. I am Ian LeVance. Hey, everybody, it's your girl Tamar Braxton. Music and features from a woman's perspective. Intriguing conversation. The Swag Award. Espresso. The MC Light Mix. Radio from a woman's perspective. What flavor are you, baby? This is Cafe Mocha. Welcome to Cafe Mocha Radio. I'm Angelique. Back by popular demand, two of our favorite actresses. First up, Nicole Ari Parker, our celebrity correspondent, is checking in. And have you ever wondered how to become a rich and famous actress? Well, Tasha Smith has some tips. Nicole Ari Parker is up next on Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm Angelique. And I'm Nicole Ari Parker. Kojo, where you been? Girl, I've been busy. Thank you, God. <laughs> what you been doing? Well, I just wrapped shooting a new series for TNT, which airs premieres June 9th. Nice. Yes. Starring Tay Diggs. Oh, stop it. Yes, I played DA Jackie Perez, so I'm a boss lady again. Oh, nice. I like it. And uh, it'll run all summer on TNT, the new Stephen Bochco series called Murder in the First. Then this fall, uh, I will be back on stage. Okay. Rehearsals begin in August for Antony and Cleopatra. Oh, wow. Yes, the same woman, Emily Mann, who directed me on Broadway, is opening her 2014 season at the McCarter Theater uh, with Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. Lovely. I, I presume you play Cleopatra. <laughs> well, you know, I could play both. You, you know, could. I'm that fierce. You okay? got. I could play Antony if you needed me to. You got skills. <laughs> Ain't no lie about that. <laughs> so, All right. But yes, I hope to see you there. Super. And then, of course, being married to the one and only oh, wait. Gladiator. We'll come right back with more <laughs> on the Gladiator. <laughs> It's Cafe Mocha in studio live. It's our celebrity co-host, Nicole Ari Parker. I want to check in and see what's going on with the gladiator, Mr. Sexy and the kids. Mr. Sexy. You know, somebody at school, the little girls in my daughter's class call my husband Gorgeous Boris. Oh, my God. Already at nine years old. <laughs> and I just shake my head. I can't believe it. And, you know, Nicholas is seven. Mm -hmm. And the moms at school like your son is just so handsome and I was like well yeah he's a good kid on the inside he's he's you know it's and they're like no no he's handsome on the outside too it's not all about the looks people I I'm trying know. to build, I'm build, build character something. here yeah so they keep me on my toes <laughs> and you know Sophie is starting to cook her own breakfast wow. scramble her own eggs flip her own pancakes mm. and uh yeah so, you know there's just so much being a mom. Any mom will tell you. And being married with kids. You know what we should do? What? We should ask some of our listeners to write in and do like a Dear Nicole. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of the things that go on in a wife and a mother's life, we think we're the only ones. We right. think we're the only people whose husband doesn't listen to them anymore. <laughs> with the white socks and the flip-flops. Oh, stop. Whose children dress themselves in weird colors and totally don't represent the family anymore. <laughs> you think you're the only one fighting fighting over Skittles, you know, at breakfast. No, you can't have candy for breakfast, you know. So you want to do like a mommy diary type oh, thing? Oh, yeah, something like that. That would be fun. All right, we'll do it. I mean, I'm not an expert in anything, right. but I would like to, you know, share some some motherly. information. Some motherly, motherly wisdom. Yeah. All right, so if you have questions for Nicole Ari Parker's Mommy Diaries, just hit us on Facebook at Cafe Mocha Radio or Twitter at Cafe Mocha Radio yes. or anywhere at We can Cafe talk Mocha about Radio. the muffin top. And Oops, the cellulite and the and the boobs all and the it. sex no longer happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in there. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. It's Cafe Mocha, Angelique, along with Nicole Ari Parker Kojo. And you know, one of the things that I don't like, Nicole, is when a guy, your guy, mm -hmm. shows up mm -hmm. with a gift card instead of a thoughtful present. Yes. But why do women then in reverse show up with a tie or boxers or a weed whacker? <laughs> What do you mean? Like, why do we know what to get them? Well, we, or do we get them the gift we really are trying to hit, <laughs> hit around? Like, exactly. Like, I got my husband a book called Fix Your Feet. 
okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sure he really wanted that. <laughs> well, you know, it, he, actually, he depreciated it because as an athlete, you know, he plays tennis. It's a written by a sports medicine doctor about mm-hmm. how to take care of your feet. Well, Dana Hill is with us. She's creative, Coco Teak, and she's going to help us with how to pick something other than a tie for your husband <laughs> for, for Father's Day. How are you, Dana? I'm doing well. How are you, ladies? I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. No yes. problem. Where do we go with, wrong with picking gifts for our men? Well, I think I think part of it is understanding your man and knowing what they'll like. And thinking more along the lines of, you know, going into your man's head. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think a lot of times, you know, we might think of what we like for a man, but we have to think about what they would like for themselves. Right. <laughs> Coco Teak, uh, originally we launched Coco Teak for Women. We're a beauty box subscription for women. But we got a lot of requests uh, from women asking, you know, for products for their men. We had a, we had a teaser in our December box uh, for men. And, you know, a lot of the women gave it to their husbands, significant others, and we got great feedback for them, from that. So I decided to do a special Father's Day box because, you know, we don't want to leave out the fathers. And what we have for them are some great grooming products from um, Shea Moisture for Men. Mm. And this is the great thing. Um, they're full-size products, so, you know, they have an opportunity, the men have an opportunity to really, you know, dig in and really try it without just having a small amount. So right. we, have, we have an African black soap shave cream and a tea tree aftershave and bump preventer. We're talking to Dana Hill, creator of Coco Teak, CocoTeak.com. That's C-O-C-O-T-I-Q-U-E.com. And Dana, is it okay if uh, we have a Father's Day grooming box to give away to one of our listeners? Absolutely. Let's do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Are you sure you just want one? Oh, can we have more than one? <laughs> Do I hear two? I think I hear two. Do I hear two? Do I hear one and a half? Do I hear one and a half? Do I hear two? Two it is. Just log. Absolutely. Thank you, Dana. Just log on to CafeMochaRadio.com. And of course, your site is CocoTeak.com. How do they find you on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and social media? Sure. We're on Twitter at at LoveCocoTeak. And we're at Instagram at CocoTeak. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dana. You're welcome. And thank you so much for having me. I'm I'm just blessed and honored. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm Angelique. Don't forget, you can catch Nicole Ari Parker live and in person June 21st for the Cafe Mocha Salute Her Ceremony. It's happening at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. For more information, just log on to CafeMochaRadio.com. Up next, we've got Tasha Smith. Oh, yeah. It's Cafe Mocha live in studio. One sexy, yummy smelling Tasha Smith. How are you? I'm good, sis. How are you? I am excellent. Good to see you again. It's looking so great. Good to see you, and you're looking great and radiant and fabulous too, my <laughs> sister, with your beautiful white teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so look, let's just start right in on. Being at own. Have you met Oprah? Of course, absolutely. Oprah, listen, that's her network, mm-hmm. her amazing shows. I mean, Oprah is very much all up there. I mean, she's not there on the set all the time, but right. you know, we've seen her at the press junkets and things mm-hmm. like that. And she's, I mean, I've met her before, of course, but she's amazing. It's amazing. With, uh, for better or worse, now being on OWN, is it any different for you guys than when you were working at TBS? You know, it's not because we always filmed everything at Tyler Perry Studios. Okay. So we're we're still filming everything at Tyler Perry Studios. So it's no different there. Difference right. there. It's just a different network. And then, of course, we get to see Oprah every once in a while. <gasps> <laughs> Have you pitched a new show yet? Anyway, Wednesdays, 9 p.m. on own for better or worse. Yes. How excited are you about for Tyler and this kind of new relationship he struck up with with Oprah? I mean, they've been friends for so right. long. I mean, they adore each other. They really do. And I think the partnership makes sense, you know, because they're wonderful friends. They're creative people. She has that network. You know, he has so much programming that he can add to her network. And I'm sure he wanted a home where he could take his television shows and, you know, make it a, a partnership and a family. So it's a beautiful thing. And I think it's great. They're wonderful together. So have you pitched a show to open? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's Cafe Moco in the studio with Tasha Smith. More on the way. Everybody get up. 
Cafe Mocha in studio with Tasha Smith, acclaimed actress. And of course, I want to talk about something that we've been doing in L.A. for a long time that has now spread to other places. And that's your Tasha Smith acting workshop, T-Saw. Tell us about that. Yes, T-Saw I started over 10 years ago because I am very committed to empowering people to pursue their purpose in the arts. I love teaching acting. After I learned and I've been studying for so long, I still study. I like to be able to give back to the acting community. I have a lot of amazing clients from Brandy to Lauren London to Lance Gross. I mean, I can go on and on. Just young actors of today that I've worked with and I just love to give them tools and technique, emotional pressure, scene study, character development, uh, instrumental exercises. Actors come to my class and they may have a hard time learning how to tap into their emotions, whether it's, you know, crying or just being joyful or just, you know, understanding how to communicate what the character's need is. And we go through all of that at TESOL. So we'll be in New York on June 14th and 15th here in the city. And if you want information about TESOL, go to TESOL. TSAW.com and it's a life changing experience. Now you're also headed to Atlanta yes, this summer as well, absolutely. right? Absolutely. I'll be in Atlanta July 12th and 13th and it's just, I mean, I love it. Like some actors be like, we ain't leaving yet because I'm serious. Like we'll be in class for like 10 to 15 hours. Like okay. you will, I mean you won't want to leave actually because you'll be learning so much. By the time you do leave, you'll be like, wow, I have so many tools in my tool box and that's what I feel as actors we have to have tools in our toolbox to learn how to be able to build and develop what we need to develop as far as our characters our scenes you know the overall goal of the character within the script it's an amazing thing talking to Tasha Smith it's Cafe Mocha more on the way I'm Angelique. The Cafe Mocha Espresso is brought to you by the 20th Anniversary Essence Festival presented by Coca-Cola. Moguldom Studios is at it again with their controversial new documentary called The Swirl. White boys I can talk to, Spanish boys I can, my brothers I can take home to daddy. Why pick one? I kind of like walking my white girl in and getting all the looks from the black girl. Download The Swirl on iTunes or go to moguldomstudios.com. And here's a hot film nobody's talking about. Have you seen Belle, an 18th century girl of privilege and wealth? Her mother's black, her father's white, and it's based on a true story. Anika Noni Rose showed up at the premiere and had this to say. It's wonderful to see a young black woman in this time period lacking a chain. That's always nice. Um, The director is a a female and, and that's rare. Oprah says Belle is a must-see. And now we honor the woman who taught us we are phenomenal. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palms of my hands the need for my care because I'm a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman all you women and me it's Cafe Mocha three distinct flavors one experience this is DJ MC Light at least for now I am as I take you back on this voyage bringing you some music that makes you feel it in your spirit way deep down in your soul it's Teddy Pendergrass. Tell me who knows what I'm talking so about. Good. It's Cafe Mocha, three distinct flavors. DJ MC Light giving it to you. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, download the app. It's called Cafe Mocha Radio, and it is free. Here we go, come. On. Cafe Mocha, it's happening right here. DJ MC Light. Make sure to check out the site, CafeMochaRadio.com. Come on. Woo! This is what the weekend is all about. Coming to you live is the Light Mix, Cafe Mocha Radio. Cafe Mocha. On the ones and twos, it's DJ MC Light. This song right here, I remember a couple years ago, I saw DJ D-Nice play this in a club. I think it was the inaugural celebration down in D.C. and I just caught the fever. 
And now whenever I want to get in the mood for some real music, it's just us, two tons of fun. Cafe Mocha. This Cafe Mocha, this is what we call the slowdown right here. Uh, uh. Mocha Radio, we know what to do with y'all. Uh, here we go now. Uh, yeah. Make sure to download the app. It's called Cafe Mocha. It's for free. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. What can I say? We're just making it happen. It's worldwide. Here we go. The light mix. Cafe Mocha Radio. Uh huh. It's Cafe Mocha. Three distinct flavors. One experience. Your girl MC Light, right in the middle of the light mix. Got Angelique and Lonnie Love on standby, just waiting for me to be finished. <laughs> but it's all good. We're rocking right now. We like how this feels. We're going way back in the crates. This is how we do. Come on. Uh huh. Wrapping up the show with the Light Mix featuring MC Light. It's Cafe Mocha. I gotta thank our special guest, Tasha Smith. Her T-Saw workshop is coming to New York the weekend of June 14th and to Atlanta the weekend of July 12th. And special thanks to our celebrity correspondent, Nicole Ari Parker. You can catch her and Sexy Tay Diggs on their new show. It's on TNT starting June 9th. It's called Murder in the First. And of course, you can hang out with her June 21st at the Cafe Mocha Salute Her Ceremony. Go to Cafe Mocha MochaRadio.com for more details. Cafe Mocha is a production of Miles Ahead Broadcasting in association with Cumulus Media Networks. Executive producer Sheila Eldridge, writer and producer Angelique Perrin. For comments and more information, visit CafeMochaRadio.com.